some of this goes back to how Tim Anderson has been at the plate. And I, I, I sent out a very critical tweet about Tim Anderson's play right now. This is the guy that we've talked about on this show and so many other people have talked about in the national media and the local media. He's the straw that stirs the drink and all this. Other Do you want a drink that tastes good? It has to be mixed right. And if he's not fucking there to set the tone or mix the drink right, some shit's going to stink. I, I'm really impressed by the fact that the White Sox picked up Tim Anderson's play today because some of those things could have resulted in a very traumatic loss on a day where White Sox fans felt down. And Tim Anderson has been doing this for a while now. Since the groin industry, you saw the frustration. He's got a three-game suspension that's pending. I'm sure he's frustrated with where he's at right now. But this is an all this is also a guy that represented your Chicago White Sox as an all-star this year. Maybe has unright maybe unrightfully be, so. He has to I'll be go, better, Johnny. I'll go as far and say that. Maybe has un, to be better. Maybe unrightfully so that he got to go to the all-star game, Tony. I, I, has to has to be better. Yeah. If, 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 if we're going to talk about leaders on this team doing what they need to do, and we're going to talk a little bit about the trade deadline, but I will say this. This team goes the way that Tim Anderson and Jose Abreu go. They are right. your leaders on offense. Both of those guys should also be leaders on defense. Those are the guys that should be setting the tone for this fucking ball club, especially – when you have Tony La Russa last year saying, I let my leaders set the tone in the clubhouse. I let my leaders yeah. lead. I, I have and been very disappointed in the play of Tim Anderson I, thus far this year. I just want to add that maybe it is a byproduct of the injury issue that he had because he did miss a significant chunk of time with that groin injury. So th that is a fair, you know, possible driver behind. And this I want to go back it and looks look, like, Johnny. I looks go like, back it looks look like he has. What did they done. do when he was gone? What did they do when he was gone? Because I remember Danny a Mendes very decent. Up. Yeah, I, I the people stepped up in Tim Anderson's absence. I don't think that's been talked about a lot this year. AJ Pollock had his best stretch when Tim Anderson was out of this lineup and he was batting leadoff. That's a fucking problem for me. Yeah. And I think it's, then I go back though, uh, beyond just like kind of some of the fundamental things in terms of, especially in the field, because that's very easy to see uh, when it's a ball that should have been a ground out and it ends up being a base hit um, because a, the rulings are really soft nowadays. And then B uh, he just wasn't in the right place or didn't, uh, you know, collect it cleanly. Um, he played with an edge last year that I feel like just isn't there ever since he returned. You might've seen spurts of it earlier in the season. Um, however, ever, ever kind of sense that, that kind of comeback. I haven't really seen that edge that over the top kind of uh, energy uh, that Tim Anderson brings. So honestly, I want to see that. And I could, you know what, if he's bringing that on a day in day out basis, being the leader in the clubhouse, uh, like we know that we need him to be, um, I could live, with some more of the physical errors, but when it all kind of combines like that, it compounds on top of each other. So, so I, I, I was, I, I was dying to ask somebody this question on this show. When's the last time you saw Tim Anderson do something cool and tough. And that like, I know that's our slogan. I know we talk about some of this stuff, but like, when's the last time you saw Tim Anderson do something that warrants like that was awesome. About a while. Um, Field the dreams game is it for me? I'll go out and I'll just spell it out here. That's the last time I saw him do something that was in the face of your opponent, the killer attitude, the leader attitude that we've wanted to see. It's been a while, as you like to say, but no. that's the last thing I can point to. You've got the bat flip game. You've got the the walk off at Field of Dreams. This team has marketed him to be bringing that level of intensity, change the game. When's the last time you saw it? Because right. I'm saying field of dreams. If you've got an, yeah. uh, and, a and, time you know, frame between you, now and no, then I, where he's brought it, let me know. Yeah, uh, honestly, off the top of my head, I'd probably have to go for the last like really outstanding one in there. But, Tony, it's, when you're thinking about some of those, when you're talking about that with him, uh, what's the best time to usually do that? It's usually a big home run, right? Well, his power production is down, right? You think he's only hit one home run, and that was the one at, uh, you know, 
He won at uh, Yankee Stadium Yankee in, in Stadium that doubleheader. Right and then I want to say he had won a leadoff home run in at Minnesota at, at some other point. Um, but other than that, in, in recent memory, it's been a, been a while again since Tim Anderson did a home run. So that, that's also an issue, too. And maybe that is a product, too, uh, of the lower body uh, ailing him a little bit. <laughs> 